What's up YouTube, ATL JDM here, and this week we're gonna be looking at our 1989 Toyota Starlet Turbo R. A pretty rare Group A homologation rally car. The car is 100% stock and mechanically in great condition. It only weighs a whopping 1,700 pounds, making it super lightweight and really, really zippy. We recently changed the alternator, the front and rear suspension, and the clutch to hopefully make up for some of the cosmetic blemishes. I like going over all the bad stuff first at the beginning of the video and just nipping that in the bud. So boo-boo number one, if you can't tell, the bumper on this side is leaning a little bit. You do have a few scratches. Nothing major though on the front bumper also. You got a little chip right here. I don't know if you can see it. On the passenger side, you've got a dent right here. And nothing too major, but a little dent right here. A little bit of surface rust right there also. Rear bumper is in pretty good condition. It checks out. And, oh yeah, there was one little ding on the trunk right here. Boom. Yeah, this little dent right here too. So some bumps here and there. It's an old car, you know, it's expected. It's better to have cosmetic problems than mechanical problems because cosmetic problems are always way cheaper to fix. We'll start at the hood scoop though, that actually has a purpose. It's not just there for show. Turbo. On both sides of the Starlet, it has the intercooler turbo sticker. The tires are fairly new. I think these are the original wheels also. Nothing special, not like any high performance tires, just some basic tires. Now we did get the Starlet here in the States for a brief period of time, but I don't think the Starlets that we got here had a turbo in them. That's pretty much it for the outside though. Let's look at the inside. Oh yeah, 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 before I show you the inside too. The only other place that I saw rust on the car was gonna be at the bottom of these doors. But you know, it's nothing too, too crazy. It hasn't gotten really, really bad. It's just some, you know, minimal surface rust. But looking at the inside of the car, you can tell someone definitely smoked in here, just looking at the headliner. It was definitely a smoker. The original seats. The seats are in really good condition also. The foam is like really stiff. Feels like brand new. The gear shifter's got uh, some wear and tear, but that's just from it being old. And that one stain right here that just wouldn't come out no matter what we did. And then obviously the leather on the steering wheel has been fading out over the years. But you've got the original steering wheel which is always a plus. Five speed manual transmission. And the car red lines at 7,000 RPM. You've got 163,108. I think that's an eight. Focus, 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 focus. I'm fine, thank you too. Oops. The car sits at 163,000 and 106 kilometers. That's about 101,000 miles, I think. A little more, a little less. Radio, I'm not 100% sure if the speakers work though, but like I say in all the videos, we give the option to switch that out with something more up to date. The car does have AC, but it wasn't blowing as cold as we wanted it to. And we'll look at the trunk. Got one stain back here on this mat. Got the original tire changing equipment. And you've got your spare tire. We'll take a look at the front. Like I said, a hood scoop with a purpose. It's not just there for show. Really clean engine bay. And it's a lot of fun to drive. I drove it back from the port this last time and I had a blast. 
It's really peppy. And it keeps up with the MR2 also. Car has a 1.3 turbo. And it also has a two mode turbo. And what that basically is a low mode, which is like a low pressure boost. And then a high mode, which is the high pressure boost. It's pretty much like an economy bud. And I guess we'll just see what she sounds like real quick before I get rained on. Doesn't sound too bad for a 25 plus year old car. All right, sorry if that was kind of sloppy. I'm just trying not to get rained on and I still gotta drive it. So let's go take it out for a spin. All right, guys, so sorry about the walk around being kind of brief. I'm just trying to get all this done before the rain comes in. Just had the car detailed, so definitely don't want to uh, get it rained on, you know? But we'll make this brief and be on our ways. So there is a good bit of traffic out right now. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully the GoPro sound quality does not betray me like it always does, but it is what it is. Yeah, there's all kinds of people. Alright GoPro, let's see how bad you want to mess with me. seen a lot of these cars like modded out and this car has so much potential if you look at some of these guys over in uh, Japan that have souped up their starlets these things can get pretty pretty mean looking in terms of size you know it's it's not a K car so I've got tons of room in here pretty spacious So far it handles really well, steering's really responsive. Handles turns. It's handling these turns really well. So when we went to pick up this car and the others at the port, it was also with the MR2. And me and the guy that were and me and the guy that was driving basically flipped the coin. I wanted to drive the MR2, obviously. But uh, I lost and then ha ended up having to drive this one, which ended up not being that bad because I think it's a little more fun than the MR2 and it keeps up with the MR2 also. Yeah, I think I said it before, the steering is really responsive, it's got a lot of pep to it, the clutch feels great, the shifter feels great, it's, everything's really, really smooth.
Toyota! Facebook, www.facebook.com.